Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Monday morning here. Quiet session overnight. I guess you could say it was politically driven. Trump easing back on his aggressive chat with China. Sort of a reversal, I guess. A typical Trump, I guess. He wants, uh, you know, China to get back to business fast. This is after U.S. sanctions on uh, ZTE, I guess, caused a lot of job losses. I don't know. I don't begin to understand uh, this guy. But this combined with North Korean solutions, I guess took us a bit risk on. E-minis up 15 handles. Looking pretty good. Of course, we have all kinds of other politics to talk about. And you know, everyone knows I hate trading on politics, but just to throw this out there, you know, we opened the uh, embassy in Jerusalem, which is going to piss a lot of people off in the Middle East. And looks like a Shiite, Uqtada al-Sadir, is going to win in Iraq. According to the press, which I don't know if that's a good bibliography or not, he is openly hostile to the U.S. Uh, he also hates Iran, but that's pretty standard for an Iraqi. So... I don't know, may throw another wrench into the already wrenched up situation in the Middle East. We're quiet today, data-wise. We have nothing, uh, literally nothing out uh, today in Europe or North America. The charts are not great. We don't have any uh, superb ideas. We'll be looking at the edges here in cable. Um, 134.60 is particularly important, uh, but also 136.17. You know, as you can see, we're, we're exactly in the middle. We're not going to take any any guesses here. Euro. The next trading opportunity looks to be the 200-day. Uh, we're not sure if it's a fade or if it's uh, a momentum trade. We'll have to see as we get closer how the news flow looks and how the general flows look. Dollar Swiss is trying to turn but I'm very suspicious of this. It doesn't really want to turn. Very stubborn. I think probably the next trade here this week is going to be up through the highs. 1.0057. What else? The two best setups today. Uh, Euro Aussie here. This double bottom 157.75 and Kiwi Yen. That alone tells you there's not much out there. When Kiwi Yen and Euro Aussie are your two best setups, uh, Kiwi Yen is it's actually not even a good setup. I take that back. When Euro Aussie is your best setup, and there's really nothing else out there, you just got to be patient. Got to be patient today. Uh, you know, you can make a lot of guesses about things. Is Dollar Cad going to squeeze higher? Don't know. Uh, unclear. Is oil going to come back down? Certainly the setup. This is U.S. oil, but you see this indecision and a red day that closed at the lows, but you really have done nothing in Asia. So, we're patient. We have no trades here for the open. We're watching. We're waiting. Waiting for a good setup. This is like half the battle in trading. It's just hurry up and wait. That said, um, the subtle art of not giving a fuck should be like a trader's Bible. I don't think any trader could actually write it. But it's a book about creating value systems, not getting overconfident in yourself. Uh, following through on what you believe and basically not giving a fuck about everything else. It's a good little book. Uh, we'll be talking about it on Twitter this week. 
I encourage everyone to read it um, just for reading sake and we'll be talking about some bits and pieces along with trades and ideas this week patience at the open today patience good luck out there talk to you at the New York Open